Hello students, nice to see you. This is the course instructor of artificial intelligence and design class offered at Yonsei University for this winter program and summer program. Let me briefly introduce you how this class goes and what kind of things you're gonna uh, experience if you take this course. Very briefly, okay? Let me skip this part, introduction of your professor. In a nutshell, my major is design computing at Interior Architecture and Built Environment. And I'm currently a faculty member of Yonsei University. So if you uh, see me in the class, we can talk about more. But anyway, let me uh, introduce you about this class by using this class schedule. Also, this is very uh, brief version of this class. Uh, schedule material, but I can tell you there are three major parts. At first, the background theory part of two things. The first one is something about AI, mostly focusing on deep learning and some theoretical aspect and some background things regarding design. Okay, that's the first thing we're going to deal with. And then we're going to move to the AI platforms. Representatively, we're going to use Google's TensorFlow and Microsoft as well, as well as some additional platforms such as uh, Tensor Dialogflow and some others. Anyway, and then we're going to move to some case studies as well as your project. So actually there is no worries for this final project. Okay. If you take some theoretical background aspects or against AI and design features, as well as your own domain knowledge or interests, These are really important things for the final project. What if you are interested in some kind of uh, uh, fashion related design aspect? If you learn theoretical things as well as technical things regarding AI platforms, and then plus your domain knowledge or domain interest gonna make your final project relatively really, really easily okay no worries this is a single page example for class material so there are many slides given to you no additional textbook instead i'm gonna provide you lots of slides as well as some kind of uh, reference links web applications cloud-based web apps and so on such as representatively tensorflow this is Google's AI platform. By using collaboratory, you're gonna be using Python language for developing your own AI deep learning based training model. What kind of training? If you are interested in how Facebook recognize my face picture and my friend's face, how do they distinguish them? You're going to low in a little bit lower level uh, technical aspects by using deep learning based image training, something like this. This is my example. Eastern interior design style images, Western interior design images going to be trained by your own code. Of course, I'm going to give you the code on top of Google Colab. And then what you need to do is training them by using my given code and then test them. All these are Eastern style of interior images. And also those three images are Western interior design style, as you exactly look and feel from those given examples. Anyway, this kind of approach can be uh, actually made by you from this course as one part of the uh, exercise, okay? Pragmatic exercise. In a nutshell, AI, very, very uh, 
buzzword nowadays, right? AI. Really huge buzzword nowadays. If you interested in the term design, actually design is another really, really broad item. Okay, we are going to build some kind of theories, backgrounds, fundamentals regarding those two things, and then we are going to use AI platforms. Actually, use platforms, not just introducing you. There are many AI platforms available. Instead, we are you are going to be asked to use AI platform. Some, some exercises and assignments but not that much okay something doable and then we are going to move to your own project project of ai and design related project this is quickly generated structure of this class okay from the beginning no worries, even if you don't have any experiences in Python programming or computer software development and so on. No worries. There are really, really uh, easy to use platforms available nowadays. I encourage you to use them. The most important thing is your domain knowledge and domain interest. And by using throughout this class, you're going to get something very actual and pragmatic outcomes for your final project that's the uh, objective of this class and based upon your learning your experience from this course i hopefully you can expand your ideas your technical skills learned from this course going to be realized wherever you are your domain field business science engineering liberal arts whatever it is it's okay because ai nowadays is really really broad and common especially in near future anybody gonna use ai technologies i'm gonna show you how to use that in design domain and then your domain can be found and can be applicable based upon your uh, interest will and your challenges hopefully okay thank you